The staff have found out everything that Emmerich's been up to. They're right on the edge. I need you to intervene before things get out of control. Get back to Mother Base ASAP. Nine years ago, this man acted as accomplice to the attack on Mother Base. He then provided support to Skullface. Conspiring with Eli, he repaired Sahelanthropus in secret. His research materials caused the leak at the quarantine facility, which in turn caused the Walbachia mutation, letting the parasites off their chains. We lost a lot of good men. He also stands accused of murdering one of his own family. Hiding the body. I haven't killed anyone. The rest is all wrong, too. The inspection was supposed to help everyone. I sacrificed myself for my companions just as much as any of you. Why won't you believe me? The prosecution calls a witness. Strange Love's gravestone. Haunted by her phantom. It's just a machine. Could a machine? You forced your own son into the cockpit of a Metal Gear, a test subject. How? His mother had to hide him away, and for that you locked her in that coffin. No! She, she did it herself! It was suicide! And even if I did, what right do you have? There's more. We have you to tell us everything you've done, everything you've thought, all this time. Nine years ago, you agreed to the inspection in return for Cypher's guarantee that you'd be spared. I thought it was real! We've reviewed into everything else that's happened since you arrived here. Please. Guilty! All counts. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! We exist outside the law. What should we do, boss? Just give the order. We'll handle the rest. Prepare a life raft. Big enough for one. Who'd want her to? Us. He's leaving. You... He's responsible for... For all of this! Think of all the men! He didn't lose a damn thing! This is the enemy! And he's here on his knees! Us. You are right. He is not one of us. But we are not responsible to judge an enemy. He leaves Mother Base, and that'll be the end of it. Get back! Don't 
touch me! I'm innocent! You're the murderers! Snake! You should be in this boat! There'd have been no inspection if it weren't for your precious nuke! I risked my life trying to save you all! How can you do this? Am I the only sane one here? I... My... It's not my fault! Look, you can't discard your phantoms forever, Doctor. Son of a bitch will make it, you know. I can see it now. In no time, he'll be telling tales about the black-hearted Diamond Dogs. The shining white knight, blabbering on about our injustice, hiding behind his fool's idea of morality. And all the other fools will stand around, nodding with every word he says. No. One day he'll see through the lies he's built up, realize what kind of man he really is. What goes around comes around. You can't run from yourself forever. Now, welcome back, my people. This is going to be the last episode of Metal Gear. Before we even get to the video, Javin, Gre how you say it? Grewal? 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 You have won the giveaway for Metal Gear. I'm going to send you a private message. You can have either the game or a $50 gift card of your choosing. Um, and it looks like Saint Road just like dominated the poll, so we're probably going to start Saint Road 1 soon. Now, I need to explain something to y'all in case you missed a couple episodes. So, number one, look at my mission list. There's 50 missions in the game, right? Now, all the missions that are normal are up to mission 30, 31, all right? Now, after 31, it starts chapter two of the game. Okay, cool. What you're going to notice, though, is that they're going to make you replay a bunch of missions you already played. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm a little upset. So, for example, mission 33. C2W, it says subsistence. We already did that. We did that uh, here on mission four. Mission nine, back up, back down. Let's go down here. This is for anybody that's going to play this game. We did that too. They give you the same exact cutscene at the end, and it's the same exact mission, but maybe you can't go in with a buddy, and you only have a pistol or something like that. The objectives are the same and everything. So it'll show you the same cutscene, and I know that there's only been three cutscenes that were new from all these other missions that we did. So, this mission 46 is a secret mission. To get this, you gotta listen to all the yellow cassette tapes. So if I go to my cassettes, you gotta listen to all the yellow ones. You gotta get your R&D team to, I think it was level 30. And you got to do all the yellow side op missions if you want to do mission 46 because this is the ultimate ending to the story. Okay. But the problem with this is this is a replay of the very first prologue mission. So the other thing I know, I mean, I just, I just want to fill y'all in. Pause. <laughs> mission 45 is a mission with quiet. I can't do that because... I did the thing where if you go to customize and you go to emblem, I use the butterflies emblem. If you use that, you don't get more mission 45, but she also doesn't leave your party after after that. So if you put the butterfly and she stays with you because if you if you don't after mission 45, she leaves. And you can't use her again. But I kind of wanted to do that mission. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to show y'all the ultimate ending to the game. I'm going to try to show y'all two other cutscenes that I won't be able to have. So I'm going to have to uh, get some permission from somebody else to use their footage for the cutscene for Quiet for Mission 45. And I think that's it. So I'm going to run through this mission. And uh, really, again, it's just a repeat of the first mission. So...
Don't you die on me, damn it! He be dropping! Intubate. Now! Cardiac arrest is in VFib! Clear! No response. Hit him again! Clear! How's he doing? Well, he's stabilized. But it took too long. He's in a coma. What about him? He, uh, took some shrapnel. To the head. So I want y'all to watch this till the end because I hear there's a, a crazy plot twist. They didn't tell me what it was, and I so that's cool because I can't stand people with these goddamn spoilers. Fam, and I don't want this music playing in my video. YouTube be tripping, man. So we might be stuck. Is there any way for me to move or get out of here? <laughs> Bitch, you just turned off my mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. V has come to. V has come to. A quiz man. Kuzme. Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. Look up, please. Very good. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... nine years. Damn it! Nosokoma! 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 Nurse! Calm down! 
Come down. Try not to panic. Try not to panic. You'll be all right. How do you feel? It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages. CPM therapy and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alarmed. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is of your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. Try to calm down! Calm down! Please! Calm down! It's gonna be okay! Yes, yes! Calm down! Yes. Yes. Κάποιος ήδη γνωρίζει ότι έχει ξυπνήσει. Ότι αν τρέχει μεγάλο κύμα, πρέπει να ενεργήσουμε άμεσα. Προετοιμάστε τον ίδιο. It's true. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead. But you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world out there, so there's something we need to take care of first. This is you, as you've lived until this day. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. Did you say bless me? Thank you. Oh, I'm good. 48 hours later. So just pay attention. They're going to show us something here in a second. Pretty sure. Very good. Now let's remove these bandages. 
Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Okay. Ah! And that's quiet right there, just so y'all, just so you know. Oh, shit! That was that's definitely quiet. She's gonna get burned up. Remember that from the first episode? And that's how she got her little disease or whatever where she can't wear clothes. So they turned me into snake. The patient in the next bed saw my face. Of course. Consider it done. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a life. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, here in the land of the living. Bad news? Oh, well, watch it then. <laughs> On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. <sighs> uh, 
Need a little pick me up? No. Okay. Here. No. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! This way, boss. Hurry. Use that bike. It's tuned up and ready to go. I'll handle the rest. Here. That's your name as of today. Best change your face to now this one. He'll take your place. From here on, he's Snake. He believes it too. My very own Phantom, huh? <laughs> Boss, the whole world wants your head. Don't worry, he can handle it. Move now. Quickly. Aren't you forgetting something? We'll meet again. Right. That's crazy. Identity swap. Wasn't even really snake we were using the whole game. Ain't that some shit? Wow. All right, guys. End of the walkthrough. Catch y'all on the next one. Check out Saints Row 1. We're waiting for Assassin's Creed and Life is Strange to come out. But until next time, bye.
you remember who you are, what you were meant to do? I cheated death thanks to you. And thanks to you, I've left my mark. You have to. You've written your own history. You're your own man. I'm Big Boss. And you are too. No. He's the two of us together. Where we are today, we built it. This story, this legend, it's ours. We can change the world and with it the future. I am you and you are me. Carry that with you wherever you go. Thank you, my friend. From here on out, you're a big boss. What was it all for? If the boss has some plan, what is it? The real big boss is working separately from us to create his new nation. New nation? A military nation above and apart from all. The true outer heaven. Something created to maintain world balance. Independent of the struggles for supremacy, for personal profit, the cycles of revenge between countries. It'll be an army, all right, but more. Big Boss is building a nation. But until it's complete, we support the other Big Boss. The Phantom carries on his legend, his meme. That is Big Boss's plan. So that's the way it is. Nine years ago, I thought everything had been taken from me. But now I really have lost it all. The boss, and the future we were building together. One day, the age of Big Boss's sons will arrive. They'll likely want to settle the score with him. We have to shape that age. We'll each have roles to play. Building the foundation for a revolution led by both big bosses, the true one and the phantom. No. Big boss can go to hell. I'll make the phantom and his son stronger to send him there. For that, I'll keep playing my role. <laughs> you know, sooner or later, there will be only one boss. There's only room for one boss. His sons are fated to face each other someday, too. If the day ever comes that you go back to Cypher, I'll aid the other son. And then you and I will be enemies, too. One of us will have to kill the other. Fine by me. 
I'll be ready for the new age. Until then, we'd better get used to coexisting.